Protecting our skin from the elements is a challenge, and remembering to put on sunscreen and moisturizer, it's a lot to care for, but we also need to give ourselves a little TLC. Danielle Shooker is here from the studio. She's going to tell us a little bit more about skin care. So, Danielle, welcome. Welcome, welcome to CI Living. Thanks. Now, what do you think is the main component we need to consider when we're thinking about protecting our skin? So, mostly important, especially, of course, with skin cancer. Um, you're even going to have occasional patients that are going through, you know, radiation treatments and things like that that will actually be more exposed to non-malignant melanoma. So, say, for example, you're having thyroid problems and you have thyroid cancer, you'll actually be more prone from having radiation treatments to further you know, then later down the road have right. non-malignant melanoma. So the different skincare products that we carry, including our Jane Iredale makeup line, has SPF in all of the products and is also approved by, by the American Cancer Foundation. What else is important is making sure when you're having these treatments done to make sure that you have plenty of moisture. A lot of times cancer patients don't realize that things like a body oil or a cream can actually be more beneficial than a lotion. Lotions have a tendency to have a lot more alcohol in them, so they evaporate very quickly, which can cause more tearing and also bed sores with inactivity. Now, not every skin is obviously the same. That's correct. So is there like certain moisturizers that you need to get for different, for different skin, skin types? types? Yes, and what's great about Pavonia is actually it has anything from the dry line to combination. If you come in and meet with your esthetician, which there's myself, which I've been working there for a short period of time, and also Casey, who's another esthetician, we can help you decide what moisturizer and or other products will work best for your skin type. Now, can you ever over moisturize and get too greasy most maybe? people <laughs> most people have the misconception that over moisturizing will cause oil but actually under moisturizing is what actually causes your skin to get oily if your skin doesn't have enough oil it actually over produces oil to protect itself so we don't have to worry about getting breakouts from using no, too much. No, opposite of everything that would you've be ever been taught. No, I know. <laughs> and actually most important with that is making sure that you're using a proper exfoliation system so the moisturizer is actually getting into your skin. You don't realize that you lose 3,000 to 4,000 skin cells every minute. Really? Yeah. Just how? How do you um, lose them so fast? We're basically kind of like snakes. We, As we age, your cell turnover factor changes. So it could be anywhere from 1 to 14 days when you're a teenager, but after your 20s, especially for us women with hormonal issues. Oh, I don't know anything about nothing that. Nothing about that. Definitely <laughs> not. But what happens is as we get older and we lose mo more of our estrogen, our testosterone comes into play, which is why women start to notice more things like breakouts after our 20s right. and more imperfections because our dead skin cells actually have a little bit more glue, so they don't fall off as efficiently as they used to when we were younger. Right. It just doesn't seem fair to get breakouts again after high school. It's not fair, but remember, <laughs> deal? remember moisturizing is what's going to keep you from aging, so it's opposite of what you've been told your whole life. Do not dry out your face because you think you're preventing breakouts. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. And then protect with some sunscreen. Or is exactly. the sunscreen in the moisturizer? Sunscreen is in all of our moisturizers by Pavone. Okay. Okay. And so which one is this? Let's look at these. Um, these are, are two different products. So this okay. is going to be your full body moisturizer. And this is actually a spray-on moisturizer. What's really cool about it is you can actually like just spray oh. it right on your hand. Okay. okay. And this is great for people, especially like people that are undergoing cancer treatments and whatnot because they don't like the feel of moisturizer. Okay, I have very dry, sensitive yes. skin, so and I don't want you to get a little bit. <laughs> and as you can tell, <laughs> out there. though, it's not Ooh, super it's oily feeling and it smells good. great. Yep. Ooh, okay. my. Okay. And we, then, that's yep. nice. We touched on the radiation treatment earlier, and, and that's something that a lot of cancer patients will go through. Does that have any effect on the skin, and, and is there a product that, that can be used in accordance with that? Yes. Um, radiation technically is going to kill a lot of your skin cells, and um, the most beneficial thing you can do, obviously, is making sure that you're moisturizing. It will extremely dehydrate your body. Um, products like this all-over body moisturizer that also has SPF will protect you from outside elements, such as car pollution, sun, all of those things actually are free radicals that will kill your happy, healthy skin cells even without radiation. Radiation just doubles that effect. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now, most skin care or skin cancer patients or any cancer patients might think a nice hot bath would be the way to go. Yes? Okay. Hot no? baths are not terrible. Warm water is going to be your best bet, of course. And like I said, avoid body washes because what people don't seem to realize is they have tons of alcohol. Some of them even have that nice gritty feel of beads. Guess what? Right. They're not usually, they usually have retinols. Best chemical if you're going to use something that's going to exfoliate is actually hyaluronic 
hyaluronic acid. It actually helps with a lot of the itching feeling that cancer patients get from their skin being over dried. So a lot of the different products that we carry, including even this lip balm, has SPF in it to make sure that after you get out of the shower, you're properly protected against any of the sun's harmful rays. And especially remember that if you're not active, your skin breaks down. So keeping that correct moisture level will prevent anything from tearing or breaking. Great, all great tips. Beautiful setup here, Thank smells you. so good. Oh my goodness, keeping our skin nice and moisturized. Yes. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. If you wanna get any more tips on what we've got up here, definitely check out our website at ciliving.tv and we're gonna be right back with the answer to today's instant connection quiz. Really, that does smell so good. Yes. And I have like very, very